Yo guys, what is going on? Got a Grandis Kuwagamon deck profile for you guys today. Uh, this deck is pretty crazy in terms of how aggressive it can be and uh, how high the ceiling is. You have a lot of really crazy tools to kind of control your opponent's board, spend their Digimon basically, uh, pierce over them, and just take out their whole security stack uh, in one go. So if you're a big fan of green and uh, aggro decks, I guess, just uh, check this list out and see what you think. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and get into it for the DigiX. Uh, just playing uh, four copies of Yokomon. This is pretty important just because uh, getting the plus DP off of the Digiburst is nice, uh, since you're Digibursting pretty frequently with the Grand Kuwagamon, as you'll see in a little bit, kind of how the main combo works uh, with our level 6s there. Uh, but anyways, for the level 3s, uh, you'll notice I'm not actually playing uh, the Jamming Palmon. Uh, if you're wondering which one I'm referring to, I'm talking about uh, this promo Palmon. When it's trashed due to Digiburst, you can give one of your Digimon uh, Jamming. Now, uh, as great as this effect is, I actually don't think it's necessary in this deck uh, because your grandest Quagamon is a uh, base 16,000 uh, when you're attacking over now you could be like all right well what if you run into uh, like an alpha mon or you can or an imperial Dramon paladin mode um, honestly like I'll, I'll, I'll take that over uh, running uh, the Palmon. I, I'd rather, I think, this uh, rookie lineup, um, I think, is just a little bit better for a couple reasons. Uh, one, Kokumon is really, really powerful in this deck. Uh, Terrymon, Floodgates is always really good, and then Lalamon for the extra little uh, boosting consistency, just getting you that recursion every single turn is nice as well. Uh, Jamming Palmon, definitely don't think it's incorrect, but I honestly do not think it's necessary uh, in the list. So with that rant out of the way, let's just talk about the ones I am playing. Kokumon uh, is actually a one-cost evolve level three, uh, which kind of sucks but it's also like kind of okay because it's a good way to just like pass turn going first like putting your opponent to one uh now it does give sec attack plus one if this digimon is level six or higher so it's just another uh basically it's like the sooner reason on of the deck like there's no reason not to run this card uh, especially with the inclusion of uh, the kokuamon x antibody because this guy has the on play slash one digivolving effect, uh, revealing the top three, add an insectoid slash machine, as well as an X antibody. So it's basically the searcher of most everything in the card is an insectoid, and then getting uh, the search off the X antibody is nice as well. Uh, being able to have that search is really good. Uh, like I said, Terry Mon floodgates are always good, Lalamon for the recursion. Uh, so that's my level three lineup. I'm not really sure if, if I wanted to play Palmon, uh, I'd probably like. Uh, cut like a Terriermon and like the three Lalamons and just put in like four Palmons or, or something like that uh, if you really want to play the jamming. Uh, but anyways, uh, so that's it for the level three and uh, Digiag lineup. For the level fours, of course, playing four copies of Weedmon. This one's probably standard most list, uh, just being able to trash off the Grand Koagamon and gaining the one memory back. Uh, being one evolve is really, really crazy uh, just because it speeds up your deck, lets you do more in a single turn. Uh, the 3000 DP is really awful, but hopefully you should never be like evolving this in the battle area or being able to like swinging with it or anything like that. It's really just there to gain you the extra memory. So a lot of value uh, packed into this uh, one little uh, Digimon here. Uh, and then for the other level fours, of course, playing uh, two Arborons because most of the times you are just one swing away uh, from closing out the game. You could honestly, like, I, I might even suggest just like cutting the Kabu Terrymon for like two more copies of uh, Arbormon here, or maybe the Kuakamon X Antibody, uh, because uh, this guy is really nice. It's mainly here just for the one of all the blockers, like, cool, I guess. Uh, but against most of the meta decks, uh, having a blocker, um, especially against the Mirror Match, this just does like absolutely nothing. Mainly, therefore, the uh, one cost evolving in like a cheap a level four is always uh, good to have lets you choke your opponent uh, more frequently uh, so this is cool but Arbormon like I said this is a lot of the times you're using this to go for game but I am only playing uh, the three copies of Mimi so uh, you, you could argue like this is enough uh, if you're cycling through your deck you should uh, see it regardless so, so anyway, so that's it for the first couple of level fours. Uh, I talked about the Kabuterimon already. This guy is basically just here to be a one cost evolve. Uh, and then now the Kuwagamon X antibody. Uh, this does digivolve from uh, zero from Kuwagamon. Uh, now, I will say there's not really a lot of good Kuwagamons uh, in the game. Uh, the only one I would probably suggest playing um, is uh, this one from EX1, uh, where at the start of your turn you suspend uh, something with uh, 3,000 or less. And then it also has this cool 
cool effect in it where when this Digimon deletes something, uh, it basically gets to like a, a Mega Gargamon uh, something on the field. So it just like freezes something. Uh, so that's really cool. If you wanted to play another level four, I'd probably suggest that one. Uh, but honestly, like I, I think this lineup has been fine throughout testing. Uh, uh, one thing I do want to point out, so that's as far as the condition goes. Uh, it's inherited effect. Uh, while this Digimon has insect in its traits, the Dig Digimon gets piercing. Uh, I, I, this is actually like a mistranslation or, or just like bad wording. Uh, what this really means to say is when this Digimon has insectoid in its traits. Uh, so it basically applies to when it's uh, any of the level 5s and any of the level 6s. Uh, so it's basically just another way to get piercing. I did want to point that out. This is different from the original Japanese text uh, where it, it does actually uh, work with like the rest of the uh, um, evolution line. So a uh, piercing inherited is always really broken. Uh, so there's that one. Uh, you could also there's I think the Stingmon from EX1 also gives piercing, but I, I think this one's probably just better because uh, it's X antibody as well. Uh, then for the level fives, uh, playing Okuamon X antibody plus regular Okuamon. Uh, this one again did evolve from zero off of Okuamon, so that works really well with the promo that I'll show you guys in a little bit. Uh, this Digimon has Okuamon or X antibody as its Digivolution cards. You get to suspend something, and then if this Digimon is attacking. You can switch the target of the attack to one of your opponent's suspended Digimon. So it, it's a little bit of a weird effect, but uh, think of it as like uh, you you like swing with uh, the first, like you swing with this Okuamon, and you've got like X antibody underneath it, and the X antibody like lets you digivolve into this. And then if you're if you were like swinging at security, for example, you get to suspend something, and then you can change the target of your attack from security to the Digimon like you just suspended. And then maybe if you got like the um, Kuwagamon here you gain piercing or whatever. Uh, you're usually not swinging like the Okumon, but Grandis has a similar effect, so that's kind of why I'm talking about it. And then, of course, uh, the second effect is really broken as well. When this Digimon would digivolve into a Digimon with Insect Wind in its traits, you can reduce the cost uh, by one, so effectively making uh, like your Grandis a three cost, but you're typically always going to go Grand Kuwagamon first, uh, so going to go um, like for a two cost and then Grandis for one, for example. That's a really powerful play. Uh, but this is a card overall just really, really crazy. Uh, and then the uh, promo Okumon here, uh, uh, now, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe we're getting these as box toppers uh, for BT9. Uh, as of recording, this BT9 is not out yet. I'm pretty sure these are box toppers. Regardless of how we get this card, this card is just absolutely crazy as well. Uh, and then, of course, pair it with the X. Antibody Okumon is just a recipe for a, a, like a lot of a lot of unfair effects. So, uh, if it would digivolve into Insectoid, so if, if it would digivolve into any of your 5s or 6s, uh, you can just give this effect to uh, your opponent's Digimon. Um, all turns when this Digimon suspended lose one so all of your opponents Digimon get get that effect, the blanket effect, really really powerful. So then, like if you go uh, straight into the X antibody, you just get to suspend something, gain a memory off of that, which helps you, of course, manage manage your memory and then go into your uh, your big beaters here. Uh, and then, of course, just giving piercing again because why not? Uh, this this deck already needed more inherited that were crazy. Uh, but anyways, that that's as far as the level five lineups go. And now, let, let, let's talk about the level 6s, okay? You, you guys are probably familiar with Grand Kuagmon. This was uh, rampant back in uh, the BT4 days. Green OTK was a really cool deck. Uh, so this guy is Digiburst 2. Uh, just attach two materials, and then you just give something on your field second attack plus one. Typically, always going to be giving it to itself. Uh, and then pair that with some of your other inherited piercing, jamming, etc. Maybe gain a memory off the Weedmon. Uh, add back a Lolmon. Uh, plus 2,000 from the Yokomon, etc. So basically, you're just giving this guy plus two psych attack you typically only need to detach four to do this sometimes if you have a big enough stack you can detach uh, six cards to make him psych attack um, plus three to make him like psych attack four maybe if you're playing against psych control that's relevant I don't know um, but you probably would want like a delicate plan package if that's the case um, so anyways uh, this guy's you typically only need to detach four because then you're gonna follow it up with the grandest Kuagamon okay I've, I've kind of just been at, in shock of how crazy this card is like I do not know what band I was thinking when when they gave this card all of these effects all right so first of all when did you evolve did you evolve for one on top of Grand Kuagamon by the way when did you evolving you suspend something and then if this Digimon is attacking you may switch the target just like the Okumon X antibody again that's typically only relevant if you're evolving like with the X antibody effect um, like maybe um, you've got like a zero, your zero memory and then you go like Grand Kuagamon with X antibody underneath its swing did you evolve into this for one suspend something switch the attack target get pierce 
check a bunch of cards, etc. Um, so, th so that's effect number one. Effect number two, just just randomly get plus four thousand. So you just base sixteen thousand, avoids Susano Mons, avoids uh, you know Wyvern's best stuff like that. So plus four four thousand is already crazy. Uh, and then end of attack is a Digimon as Grand Quagmon or X Antibody as Digivolution cards. You get to just suspend one of your opponent's Digimon and then unsuspend this Digimon. Uh, the suspending theirs is pretty cool. Like that that would are that would be like a fine because you're like suspending two things off of this one card but then you just get to unsuspend it for, for some reason and then you get to attack pierce check three more cards you're actually just getting rid of your opponent's whole security stack like i said if you're playing a delicate plan package which uh this is i will say this is a very preliminary list um i would probably if you're trying to take this into like a big tournament i'd probably include like maybe a couple heroes and delicate plans just for this second matchup because in that case you're definitely just steamrolling them as well uh, so this card just absolutely ridiculous like why, why does it need this many effects but anyways guys that, that's the boss monsters uh to supplement that three green memory boost 2x antibody this card's actually not like that good in this deck you you can honestly like cut this completely to be honest um because you're pretty much always evolving grandis on top of grand quagmon so the the needing x antibody isn't usually relevant and and you're typically like uh swinging with grandis like you don't always need to blitz so i actually kind of uh, kind of find this card a little bit underwhelming in this list uh maybe you could take this out for like uh delicate get plan package or something and then three copies of Mimi just to speed up the deck and to act as your memory tamer anyways guys that is going to do it for the uh, pure green grandest quagamon otk uh, deck you know uh, one stack <laughs> murder your opponent uh, in one turn uh, deck so anyways if you like one stack decks you'll love this deck uh, you'll tilt your opponents you'll uh, you'll have some fun but anyways guys let me know what you think of the list down in the comments below thanks for watching and we'll see you next time